kill with the Voodoo Restoration and um, and applying pressure to top lane when they force this, which is inevitably going to force the supports um, off somewhere else. Or, you know, because I, I just think IG's tri lane is a little bit weaker, uh, then we'll probably end up seeing, yeah, then you would probably end up seeing this happening on the sidelines, it's well, mid lane and bottom lane, and that's exactly where you want. Uh, covering as possible. So, with all that said, guys, welcome back. Let's introduce our two teams for this qualifier final over on HE. We have Ivy on Tidehunter, Kaka on Death Prophet, Pretty Hot on Earthshaker, the SMJ on Marana, and F on Wigtok. Meanwhile, over on IG, looking to do anything at the start of this game, we have Ferrari on Ember Spirit, Chizbug or CH on the Silencer. Uh, we've got Schwan on Shadow Shaman. Luo is actually going to be towards mid as his invoker. And finally, we have June, Handel, and Batrider uh, seemingly in the offlane. And HPC is looking for this first one to sure into Arrow. Pretty sure to kill anybody they find. IG are well aware of that act, and they, well, they are nowhere to be found. They're, they're chilling out all the way from the top side of the map. So, looks like everybody's going to be heading back for their blocks in just a second. Uh, in terms of rewarding, what do we have going on with the reward back behind the power? It looks like HGT are going to be going for this aggressive option. Uh, and Chuan may even be spotted placing down a ward of his own, which is definitely their detriment for this, for this trial lane. And we'll see how uh, they may be caught out here had they spotted one another. Chuan, a little bit further down the lane, they can't afford to get two men cast. Yes. This is a disaster. Fisher comes in along with the arrow. Chizbunk are ready brought down. And I think they even may have seen that ward being dropped, so Pretty Hall may be able to may be able to do the ward there. It's pretty obvious that the ward isn't over here, because you just jumped them out of the fog, so keeping track of on the inventory then. Maybe they have an inkling of where this ward is and what exactly is going on. They do also have a nice ward down bottom lane. Keeping an eye on potential supplications down to the tight hunter. The mid lane in general is fairly safe anyway, so I think investing the ward dead bot definitely makes a, a little bit more sense. So, HGT have, have done forward thinking when it comes to running this, this aggressive one, and I think it uh, things should should hopefully work out okay. Uh, thinking about what build we're going to be seeing out of the invoker, looks like a pretty standard quad eggs work here. Um, we are trying to deward their pull, but it's actually blocked. It's just pretty hard getting in there uh, with his with his bigger shaker butt blocking at the camp standing over here, so uh, the center is not going to really be doing anything for the time being. It looks like IG is going to maybe stick around top lane for the time being and try and grind it a little bit of an incremental advantage with pull, but we'll see if that's going to be the continued as the smart lane passes. Christian's help is a very, very nice ability to have no, no, in this no, no, no. but with the first blood advantage, you're already going to HTT. Uh, you do need to be a little bit careful. When you get caught out, they don't really have any counter initiation uh, to be able to save them. So, when, when you compare that to HPT, who can heal and cast and fissure and everything else besides. Tide decks up on Icy down bottom lane, not being very careful of this deck management. Still okay for now, drop the anchor smash, getting burned out a little bit, but June can be deterred by the creep wave turning up, so. Not gonna be a kill down bottom lane, actually playing it pretty aggressively. But he did have a skill ready to go, so it looks like he's going to be able to drive June back up the lane, uh, who only has tankos remaining. Uh, when Aaron got camped out, there's going to be illusions up on top, so Akai's going to be making his way there to go and grab on that. They finally popped the central down to be able to set the obs, and uh, Ferrari getting instant up, beautifully played by HGT. There is going to be a shack coming up. Ferrari probably going to go down to the right clicks, leap across some ZSFJ, just to make 100% sure of that one. She's about going to find his way to this one, but it's just going to be a couple more right clicks. The one more kill there is at SMJ. There is a TP back in Ferrari, and that's going to put an end to the aggression, but a 3 for nothing lead in favor of HGT for opening this game, and, and that should probably be the end of the defensive trial lane for IG. I don't know if they can afford to keep coming back up here. Um, but we'll, we'll see. But maybe they feel that they don't really have any other options unless they do have to, in some sense, defend Ferrari to secure any kind of farm. It's not going to get a whole lot uh, if they just leave them out to the wolves. But the question is whether or not it's going to get a whole lot anyway while well, here Ferrari in big trouble. Red clicks. Enough to bring them down. Another beautiful range in stun out of HGT. And that is a 4 0 lead 
in favor of the Radiant side, leading in farm in a healthy lane as well. And everything just absolutely peachy. And Dune, what's he got? Okay, so it looks like Ferrari's had enough of the top lane. He's gonna be making his way down bottom left to support the top for the time being. But this this is absolutely a PT lane right now, and they are showing exactly that. Arrow, into cast, into the arrow, into some right picks, dominating streak mana. already for the Witch Hunter. Who can be his arcane boots in just a second? We are only four minutes into this game. And even some heads up play from ST you knows that four minute earns just about to spawn up, so he hits down. And make sure to absolutely 100% secure that one for the Death Prophet, though. I don't know if you really needed to be Death Prophet versus Invoker. If the Invoker is ever going for friends, then something is, something is a little bit different. So far, looking very, very good for HG. Rocking his way to the bottom lane to get a kill. Potentially on Icy, but they need a couple more attacks if there's another dive going out on top lane. Chuang, Chainstun dead. Negative the Witch Doctor. They're just intercepting creep waves at this point. Batman on looking to take this very much deserved tier 1 tower. Furry looking positively lost as he looks all the way around in the jungle, but he's been spotted already uh, by the Radiant Word stuff. So Icy kind of knows what's going on. I to be a little bit careful here. And waiting for this spell, but Ferrari still in the neighborhood. There is six steps, and still coming. I see this key brought down, and IG do finally manage to get on the board. Not the best play out of the out of the tight hunter, given that the Amber Spear was exactly all that sneaky uh, about heading down there. Unfortunately, the kill is Luo, who's probably the one person IG who leads it the least. Uh, though he's not doing that amazingly well. Tuan does rotate in over on mid, but. Well, they just heard that cold map is not going to be enough damage to pick up this kill, and haste the death profit is going to be absolutely fine to escape. Okay. Oh, he's still trying to soak some experience on top lane. Does manage to create the creep wave the right the tower is but... under attack. No help arrives as soon as the creep wave hit the tower. He's dead anyway. Creep wave getting stacked up because of the bestie. Ha already back in the tower. Bug. Well, they knew that he went in there for the TP scroll, so it still has to be in there. One way or the other. Pretty hot on the hunt that managed to spot him out. Looks for the sun. Meanwhile, the power is going down on the lane. Are a little bit off the mark, but not going to end up mattering. They do end up having to kill him. Death Prophet did go down mid. Looks like Batrider actually put it all the way in. Not the last to be used, but just the chain stun from the Shadow and the Invoker. They do end up losing the Team Tower in the process. So. HTT still looking great. Gold lead, 1.5k experience lead, so we're not free up to go and gank other lanes on the map. And just lead run into we'll continue farming top lane and running side pulls and keeping things back. He wants to. Jean gets brought down by Icy, who invests a ravage after finding a DD rune. So, an easy kill picked up for him, and IG absolutely falling apart right now. Ports are now going to be able to head over to mid. Fizzbug is just chilling over here, not really able to do a heck of a lot. Uh, Kaka, hopefully I can put that in the form before he matches that witchcraft. I'd also like to see a point in silence this game, honestly, but we'll have to see. I see a million rooks spawn lane. He's gonna end up being dragged back with the tower prism last shadow. Half trying to get him back in the tower range, Sunstrike. Not gonna connect, Ace. Still has 10 charges as well, so looks like he's just be a it's a pretty big investment of Ferrari's time, and I'll get some case stunned up here as well. So they have the remnant ready to jump away too. That's gonna pop the side of fist. One more right click from Icy finishes it up. And oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This, this is not looking pretty hard. Just chilling off to the side. The decision there, but even more farm top lane. You're not gonna have a big dagger at any point, really, this game, at least not for a while. Arrow is in the plane. Straight out to Ferrari. Gonna eat a little bit of extra harassment right as he peepees in. Radiance Courier. Has Maybe been enough to get him as well. Radiance Courier does end up going down in the midst of all this, but uh. We'll keep our eyes tuned towards the top lane. Nukes come out, they have enough to burst down Ferrari. No silence. Not enough damage. No kill. But. Still more pressure being applied to the spawn drawn by the IG chest bug. Almost as his boots, but that's about all we can do for him right now. Alua, the only one in the top five for IG, just working straight towards his Midas for the time being. So even a lot of that worth not really 
contributing all that much to, to getting them back into the game just yet. Yes. Oh, Lua cut out. Right after the damage to bring him down. Just a little bit of a turn around. Oh, yeah, he just oh, the wax. Gonna be able to go to the wax. Sunstrike gets split through Maze. Kaka pops off the exorcism. Keeps on going. Here comes kills from the Wolf Doctor. And another cool one tower. Definitely taken by HCT. A mere 8 minutes and 45 seconds Radiant into this game. They have their mech early Eye Hunter. They are stuck in with over on Chuan, who managed to find a couple of creatures help up on top lane, but uh, only so much Shadow Shaman can be able to do to get his team back into this. Uh, especially since this match is taking quite easily to defend towers and, and clean up the mess of swords, so. Radiant we'll see what's gonna happen. So we're getting ready to manage to establish some fairly nice deep wards, but Chizbug has managed to spot these out and he's gonna be able to deal with that, so there you go. Ferrari still has pretty much nothing to his name as he sits in the bottom four among the likes of Shaker uh, and his supports for farms. So things not looking great for him. Meanwhile, June, 1400 gold up. Chuan smoking down the lane as well, just looking for whatever pickup they can possibly find. They can get the lockdown, they can set up a sun threat, but there isn't actually enough. Oh, isn't enough for everything here. In fact, not gonna happen. In comes the Witch Doctor. Master from ZSMJ just needs to avoid those on the edges for now. PP out from June, but Chuan not gonna be caught. So lucky as he does get isolated and put down. Witch Doctor almost killed. Stage is gonna keep him safe and another beautiful turnaround for HCT. Also, the Master Gold's invested. The biggest problem with the gank was June just didn't have any mana. Had had been able to hex into a shackle into a lasso. Uh, it would have connected and it would have been a definite kill, but uh, June didn't have anything left in the tank, and this ended up being a huge waste of time for one. Pizbug push it up on lane, but no follow up this time around, so he needs to walk away with his life at least the once. Gold experience continues to spiral absolutely out of control as IG just have nothing to win this game back in. None of their cores are ready and willing to fight. June still wants some farm, Ferrari needs a million items. And the invokers are really willing to provide Sunstrike support and split pushing right now, so... Tower's gonna keep on going down, Radiance Courier does end up respawning, so... The Wanderer speed could be able to continue its journey onto this MJ, and... It is already picked up for him as well, so even if the game begins to turn, this is Jared drinking about it. make it a long game and pick up a lot of farm on the Death Prophet, pick up a Refresher or the Tide Hunter. And a little slow way. If I do just somehow manage to start turning around, Dial maybe with the blue dagger for that right now. So. But a split push happening top lane. Is there a glyph ready for the radiant? You betcha. So the sun is going to come up and clean that one out as well. I'm confident in the team's ability. It's a tier 1 dead and bot. Right, but so. But they're actually going to be able to continue on with the last trailing end of this exorcism. Get a little bit more damage down. Um, considering they get up on top lane and looking towards the SMJ, Cold Snap going out with the damage. Tower barely tell how it's barely alive. It's in the top down low, trying to escape. Here comes the chain stun. He's going to be pushed off Tron, just forced to slink back towards mid with his tail between his legs, and HGT just looked like a. Look at that unstoppable force right now. Icy comes in, Mass Serpent Wards have been used, this one not even going to be tower. IG deny even more gold at this stage, and things are looking, things are ugly. They've got some nice warp, they've got good vision, they know what HGT are up to, but this does not matter in the slightest. Uh, at least for now. They do finally have a blink dagger up on the bat, so maybe we can start getting some pickoffs. As soon as they see that, I think she's just gonna go uh, full on five man mode. Yeah, they're they're playing deck. things a little bit fast and loose right now. She's at SMJ, just being a little bit caught out top lane, but they don't get the shackle, so there's no sudden strike. A little bit greedy from Chuan, was hoping to get the ether shock off and then go in the shackle. Arrow's playing up. Goes to dodge out of the way, but actually walks right back to the tower. But it's in general gonna take three auto attacks and this kill over there. A little bit of a turnaround. Super coming in as well. Nicely done from the IG side. They do manage to find another rebuttal kill, but in the meantime, come down to the lane. We'll be brought down. Just trying to lay down some firefly at the end. And then all of that down. So the two tower next on the tower. We're trying to pull together what IG can. His boots and a bracelet. Uh, pretty much his inventory contents. Show. 
And Kaka deciding that they're not done just yet, is heading up towards top lane. Uh, I didn't fully elaborate on the not getting the flip point in Crypt comment earlier, so I'll actually do that now. Uh, so if you look at the scaling on Crypt Swarm, every other level uh, is a pretty is consistent upgrade in damage at 75 um, damage, or a little bit of extra mana. I don't know if it's only 50 extra damage. Uh, so it's typically worth it to leave Crypt Swarm just at level, at level 3 and next up with Crash and at least get your 1 point in silence uh, before you consider getting a 5 point in Crypt Swarm. I've seen some crops even in competitive play still maxing out the Crypt Swarm, but I figured it would be worth it to, to raise the point. Anyway, system use top lane, it should be a clean up a skin to tier 2 tower Fire here. I already up fallen. for the tide hunter as well. Uh, so they're more than ready to get coming. I see jumps in middle lane, is there enough walk down to burst him here? Looks like there might be. Oh, he's yet managed to use the pipe, probably not going to be finished off by the silencer last word. Doesn't survive in the round of HT. Coming in back, Ice Fisher catches it, proved, and even Mr. Flamebreak opens up a little bit of space. Sean, the only one completely caught out. And IG are going to be able to turn away with at least the one tower claim. So, not the worst for them. Not even any not any big ultimate aside from the Serpent Wars that's to them either. And Paris being caught out, however, into the chain run with the fish with the arrow. A little bit greedy for Jun to be farming around there. It does end up being caught out. Pretty well, I'm gonna have to pick up this blue dagger right now. I'm gonna mail from over on the Marab. Some extra slow pushing farm. Uh, could have maybe seen just a super early drums deso build this game. Um, but I don't know. I guess, I guess that's okay. I think the, the Maelstrom's. You can pick up the mule there as well and throw it in the tide hunter uh, when he goes, goes in and get a bunch of extra value there. So I think the master build is, is also just fine. And also, the, the concern isn't so much buildings, breaking down buildings is, is easy. All they have to do is win the team fights, and I think in that sense, the, the most is much better. Definitely not breaking as well. Ferrari trying to get a little cheap farm. He's going to be put down, and the rabbit catches the new team up. Already first if he was level 6, he wouldn't be able to get to the goal of the Wicked 6 streak for Ash. And HGT looks like it's going to be a 2 tower without an exorcism used, and then even maybe some damage onto the high end. Some a little bit one mana we have some arcane boots going down right now. We even got some arcane boots right now. Tower so. tower has fallen. There you go. Is that a SMJ mana? And HGT looking to head out on the high ground to a 16 minute lane of racks. I guess it's very hard like that. It didn't seem to have its lanes Dyer's together. Oh, arrow coming in Luo. He came straight into that. Not even looking at where he was keeping. Not going to cancel. The immediate buyback comes out. He's trying attack. to find an angle into the fight to get off the side of his. But gets repelled by the death word. He comes in looking to work pretty hard. He's going to be a future. And slammed it down. Double kill is an attempt. They buy back from Tron. They are going to try and they're going to try and clean up the best boards here. As they're pre under CC of the Voodoo Restoration. They've still got burn charges. They've still got a pipe up sleep, crying out loud. And uh, HUT, are they even going to consider just going back in here? They don't have exorcism. They don't have ravage, but looks like that's not enough of a deterrent for a nice arrow lined up into the engine to put the Yule. I finishes the kill with an Anku smash. And what a performance I'm hard to get to. Well, I to see, brother. Not hard to get together anymore. The siege continues. There are two points inside of Fist, not doing a heck of a lot at the moment. Chisbug just sides with an arrow. Three man sounds coming in. Do we have another lasso? Not for 30 seconds. So the Voodoo Restoration Fuel Push is going to continue in another Yule Sister. Over our Voodoo Future, a little bit missed time. He does end up flying slightly forward to dodge out of the way there, but Brax still being chipped away at Achi, trying to throw whatever they can at the Tide Hunter. He's still looking pretty healthy. Look at the fire stage go down along with the old net. Here comes in it! Echo Slam! Hold on, it's pretty hot. Finds the open in the end. Lumo is down. He's gonna be finished off. Four kill HGT. Play over the HGT. Looking like it might just be the game. Going to HGT. Lumo is enough. He's gonna call the GG. And it's going to be it. HGT will be advancing. Into the land final, WEC missing out on their spot by a hair. Congratulations to HGT, fantastic performance. 
and I didn't tonight and showing that they are definitely a four to be reckoned. Thank you very much guys for tuning in here for WEC coverage on joining the community. I